Howdy, and thanks for sticking around for sports. I'm Brooke Bednars. It's almost football time in College Station, and the Aggies are ready to get things rolling. Year one of Jimbo Fisher was not without excitement. A historic seven overtime victory over LSU made headlines across the country. And then the Ags finished 2018 as Gator Bowl champions. Now Fisher is ready to hone in on the mental game of his team. He says it's the one thing to grind. It's one thing to grind physically in practice, but it's another to grind mentally. And as Texas A&M faces a fierce schedule yet again, he hopes they see nothing when they look at their opponents. When you get your program to where you want it and how the guys think, your opponent has no face. You have a faceless opponent. You know you say that, and I know it's tougher to say, but there's a point they believe that. And they got to understand how they got to build off each and every week. And I think that's where we're at in our process uh, in understanding that no matter who we play, there's a, there's a standard in which we have to hold them to in practice in the offseason. And they say kids are different today. They're different unless you make them do it the old way. You know, and we're going to try to do that. Now, that's our challenge as coaches, and they have to buy into that. But if you want to be a great program and win, it doesn't matter who you play. It's how you play. And who is Fisher looking to lead that steady mentality? None other than his junior QB, Kellen Mond. Mons entering his second year as the man in charge of the offense, and he openly admits he's nowhere near the player he wants to be. But Fisher is pleased with his QB's development on and off the field, and Mond says the coach-QB relationship has reached a new level. His knowledge of the game has been tremendous. The conversations we have and his ability to see blitzes and protections and how to attack coverages and all those things. But I think from a standpoint of how to be the quarterback and the leader of the organization from a standpoint of how much time do you spend with guys off the field, how he sets and works with the young players and understand the psychological disposition to be able to compete at a high level, the ups and downs of everything that goes on. I think towards the end of the, end of the season, he kind of put, uh, gained a lot more trust in me. So, you know, we can talk a little bit more about, you know, what plays that I like and, you know, we kind of understand what type of plays that uh, are going to work in certain situations. So just me being able to have more knowledge of the game and I could start thinking a little bit more like him. The Aggies kick off the 2019 season at home against Texas State on August 29th. That's a Thursday night game at 730. That game is the precursor to the one everyone's already talking about when Texas A&M will take the trip to Clemson to play the national champs who knocked off Bama on Saturday, September 7th, which takes us back to the steady mentality. Fisher is relying on his team to carry the same focus every week. That's part of our culture that we preach daily and I think if you want to play well that second game you have to play well the first game and I think you build off of that and that's and that's our approach and but is, is it challenge yes because kids and, and in any time think up and down but Texas State can you know anybody can beat you and everybody has players across this country there you have it there you have it yeah. so I volunteer <laughs> if you need someone to take a camera and yeah. shoot that first there. game I'm sure you're I will do that, that for you <laughs> I will so do that, that for Thursday you. night, August 29th, we might not have Lindsay here. We might. She I might, might be, be on assignment. <laughs> I just need to make sure Matt's here on the night. Yeah. yeah. So that, <laughs> oh, this could be a completely different desk on exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> well, listen, August 29th can't come soon enough. No. I think we're all ready for a little football.